Hello YouTube people, this video is from the series where I bought a bunch of ultra cheap watches trying to find some good ones. This time let's take a look at this woman's watch and this one is actually pretty good. Let's take a better look. I bought this watch because it looks rather nice and after doing this review I will give it away to my mom. My mom already said that she likes the look of this watch. It's surprisingly beautiful. It is beautiful on Aliexpress pictures, but in person it's even better. Super slim. I like those sloping edges on the case. Look very elegant. Those very beautiful indexes. Super beautiful date window. I mean, overall it's very very beautiful watch. And sorry it's raining right now, so <laughs> I can't give you a very good shot, but we'll take a look. Uh, in the studio a little bit later. Right now I just want to show you how it looks in a daylight. It looks very good. It's very dressy watch, very elegant. It really catches... It's simple, but it really catches an eye. It's like, wow, what's that thing? It looks so beautiful. Amazing. Showing you this watch up close is gonna be a little bit tricky because this mineral crystal is so reflective that my camera loses focus sometimes and on a black dial you're gonna see every single dust super easily. But good news are that there are no dust on the dial itself and no fingerprints on the inside of the mineral crystal which to be honest, well f funny thing but it's a little bit unusual at this price category to get a watch without any dust inside. Also look at the second hand. It hits the markers. So nice, so nice. Look, straight on the point. Wonderful. Now, this case, the shape of it, it looks incredible on this domed mineral crystal. It looks so elegant. I wish more dress style watches would come with such sloping sidewalls. It really elevates the elegance of the watch, makes it look a lot lighter on eyes. Now let's take a look at this beautiful date window. It's a perfect example how well a date window could be done on a dress style watch. Such a beautiful integration of a date window. Incredible. Really beautiful. Also those indexes, those pip indexes. I really love them. They look so good. Also this logo, Julius. <laughs> Funny thing that Julius in my native language is actually a man's name. Julius. It's a Lithuanian name for a man, but it's Korea design watch. <laughs> what a Lithuanian name has to do on the dial of this watch, I have no idea. <laughs> But it's a, it's a nice name for a watch, Julius, or Julius in my native language. Such a nice watch. I'm really impressed by this watch. How's the back case? Very nice engraving of this owl. Everything about this watch is just so beautiful. How is the bracelet? It feels really good, very comfortable. I do like these bracelets. I don't like the look of them, they're very feminine. I wouldn't wear one, but in terms of a comfort, they are very good, very breathable. And I like these kind, these kind of clasps. They are very easy to micro adjust. Very nice engraving, by the way. Let's take it off. Yeah, nothing unusual here. Very easy to micro adjust. You definitely gonna find the perfect fit with this style of a clasp. Very good. Feels good, doesn't have any sharp edges. It doesn't feel cheap. This watch doesn't feel cheap at all. One thing that always gives away the cheapness of the watch is the crown action. Let's see how is the crown action on this ultra cheap watch. It's surprisingly good. It has decent friction. It's not loose whatsoever. The ratio is very good as well. I need to turn crown quite a lot for the minute hand to move. It feels very precise. I really like it. It's very surprising. Let's set it on 45. Let's see if the minute hand jumps. Now it stays in place. That's very surprising. Let's do that again. Okay, 45. 
Oh, my camera loses focus. Sorry. It stays in place. It's very surprising. At this price category, it's very, very unusual to see this nice crown action. Wow, another beautiful surprise. Now let's see how the date window flips. Not too far from the midnight. Pretty nice. How is the alignment? Let's set on 6. Alignment is perfect. Very nice to see. I, I see no quality control problems with this watch. No dust, no fingerprints. Crown is wonderful. Uh, the date window has very nice clicky feedback. Listen. Oh, that feels wonderful. Setting up the date feels very wonderful, very clicky. Nice. This watch is nothing but a nice surprise. I'm very happy with this watch. The only bad thing I can tell you about this watch is that the ticking sound is a little bit too loud for my liking. It is almost as loud as Timex Weekender. So that's the only negative thing. And that's the reason why I'm not putting this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com into keepers. I am putting one tier down to not bad category. If you don't mind the ticking sound, or maybe you don't even hear the ticking sound, this watch is just insane, absolutely amazing for the money, incredible. But that ticking sound is the reason why I'm not putting this watch into keepers. It's not bad. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.